How's it going everyone? Digital Scriptorium here and today I want to talk about Final Fantasy IX and the Maguri graphics overhaul mod for the PC release of the game. I have many fond memories of Final Fantasy IX and in my opinion I actually consider it to be the best of all the Final Fantasy games with Final Fantasy Tactics as a close second. However, the modern PC release of it on Steam feels a little wonky with the upscaled character models hanging out on the washed out pre-rendered backgrounds. I know Square Enix has mentioned they lost the original source code files and that's why the backgrounds are the way they are, but I feel they really could have tried to put it through some basic upscaling and sharpening to throw a $21 price tag on it. So this is where the Maguri mod comes in, which is what I'm going to show off today as a guide. What is the Maguri mod exactly? I'll quote from the Maguri mod's website on this one. The Maguri mod is a faithful revamp of Final Fantasy IX on Steam, aided by AI. It makes backgrounds more detailed, high res, cleaner, and less noisy while respecting the original art. It is aimed to first time players and veterans alike. It restores a lot of what made the charm of the original PlayStation 1 game. It is based on the Memoria mod, which brings a mountain of features and polish. So this ultimately makes the game look like a modern release, which is very impressive. And a huge shout out to everyone who was involved in making this mod happen, let alone making it free. Before I begin, I just want to mention that if you find the video to be helpful, I would appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to my channel to keep up with my latest happenings. You can also help support my channel via Ko-Fi or check out my Patreon. All donations go directly back into the channel to help cover the costs of everything I need to show off the magic. Anyhow, let's begin. Alright, so the first thing that you'll want to do if you haven't already is go ahead and purchase Final Fantasy IX on Steam if you haven't already done so. Once that's done, go ahead and kick it off just once. So start the game, let it run through until you get to the menu screen and then we can go ahead and close out of that. And if you're unsure how to close out of the game and get back to the desktop, just do Control alt f4 It'll pop up with a box saying, are you sure you want to quit the game? And then just use the up arrow, hit yes, and it'll get you back to the desktop. Once that is done, then we will head over to the Maguri Mod website. I'll have a link for this in the description below, so you'll be able to just click on it and it'll bring you to the website that we want to take a gander at. Feel free to take a look at the website here. It's got all sorts of good information on what the project is, what it's done to the game and all that good stuff. If you scroll down, it also has a YouTube video that shows off a bunch of the changes to the game and mentions more about the changes. And then if you scroll down more, it also shows even more information, which is all the very impressive stuff. And there is a GitHub page for the project. And then if you want to see comparing and contrasting between the vanilla version that was released in 2016 and the Maguri mod version 9, you can feel free to play around with the slider to take a look at the changes that have happened here. Anyhow, once you are ready, go up to the top and ideally there's going to be this Maguri 9 or higher version available, depending on when you watch this video. And then click on install if for some reason this banner is not here, then there should hopefully be a little install button like in the top right here. Anyhow, I will click on install and we're going to use the Memoria Patcher and we're going to do exactly as it states here in the instructions. So we're going to download the Memoria Patcher. We're going to run it and it does mention if it fails, launch the game once. Ideally, once again, you will have already launched the game once so it should be smooth sailing from here on out. Anyhow, if for some reason it does fail, there is the option down below here to manually download the mod. And just to show also is that for anyone using Linux or the Steam Deck, you can actually run this bash command, which will pull down the Memoria patcher as well. And there is also a Mac variant out there, which I have not tested personally. So continuing on, let's download the Memoria patcher. And then once it's downloaded, then we'll click on open file. And then we'll just wait for this to close out and then give it about 60 seconds just to make sure that no other terminal window comes up and it's trying to do anything else. So we'll give it 60 seconds and we'll continue on. At this point, we can close out of the browser screen. And then if you have Steam open, you can click on play now, or if you have it on your desktop, then you can fire it up from here as well. I'm just gonna fire it up off the desktop. 
you may get the change log pop-up. In this case, you can feel free to read through this if you like. I'm just gonna click on OK. So there's a number of things that just the Memoria patcher has that you can do all sorts of changes and configurations with. I won't go over a lot of this, but just kind of some highlights. I think one of the big ones is the window mode. So by default, it seems to select the windowed mode. I'm just gonna set this to full screen. You can feel free to adjust your resolution if you need to, your frame rates. And one thing also just to mention is if you're questioning what it actually does, you can hover your mouse cursor over the name of the option and it will give you more information on it. You can always feel free to customize stuff here and if it seems to not be to your liking then of course you can always roll it back and all that good stuff. One other option a lot of people like is use the PSX font which changes it to more of the pixelated font as you see in that little bottom section there where it mentions the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. It's more pixelated that's currently not turned on. There's also some quality of life changes here. For instance, skip intros to the main menu to speed things up. You can also skip the battle load time, which dramatically speeds up things so you're not seeing the same exact stuff over and over again every time you go into battle. And like I said, there's a whole bunch of other stuff here, so feel free to take a gander at that. There is a cheats tab, so there's all sorts of cheats you can turn on. Quite frankly, the Excalibur 2 no time limit, that shouldn't really be considered a cheat since that's already pretty hardcore in itself. And then there is an advanced tab. Feel free to take a gander at this stuff. And then there is the mods tab. The mods tab is where we need to go to continue on the process. So actually right at the very top here, at least for me, it's at the very top, the Maguri mod is listed. Now, if it was installed, it will have a check mark next to it. In this case, it's not currently installed. So if we just double click on it, then it should begin downloading it. As we can see down below here, it is a pretty good size. So depending on your internet connection, it could take some time. And on the right hand side, it also gives an overview of what the mod is. And you can also click on the website. There's also, of course, a whole bunch of other mods here. I have not tested any other mods with this mod. So I don't know if there's anything that could conflict if you use the Maguri mod with any of these other mods. So do so at your own risk if, it, if it's unstable. I would dial back the mods that you're using. We'll just wait for this to finish up. And when it's done, that little download section should disappear. And then just as I'd mentioned, if the mod is actually installed, then there should be a check mark here, which it looks like it already has it, so that's perfect. If for some reason it fails or anything like that, I would just reboot your computer, try again. If it fails again, maybe give it a little bit of time. Maybe the internet resource for it is not available or down or something of that sort. So give it some time, a few hours or a day or something, and then try again. So anyhow, it is checked, so it is enabled for us. So I'm going to click on play, and it already actually determined that there's a new version for the Memoria Patcher. So it says, do you want to download it now? And I'm going to click yes to download the latest version. Download successful, run the patcher. We'll click on yes. And in this case, we're just going to verify that all the settings that I did set are still here. Full screen looks good. I didn't change anything else up here. So I'm going to click on mods again. And Maguri mod is listed here. So that's perfect. And note it's now showing up under installed mods. So before it was actually showing the mod catalog and now it's defaulting to the installed mods, so we can actually easily see what is installed here. One thing also just to mention with this section, if you ever need to remove a mod, highlight the mod and click on the uninstall mod portion here, and it will uninstall it for you. You can always go to the mod catalog after the fact and re-download it, no problem. Anyhow, let's click on play, and hopefully this time it should launch the game for us. And here we go. I'll select new game. And it's gonna kick off the cinematic, which I'm just gonna select yes to skip it so we can get right in. And all I did to skip it was hit enter and then it popped up with that. So this is gonna verify that we are in fact using the mod. I can already tell just from the tiny little spot around Zidane here that it's not all pixelated and, and smeared and whatnot. So let's just make sure here. get through all of these screens and then once I can finally take control of him then I'll move forward and light the candle here we go yeah so far 
Everything looks good. And yes, it's definitely enabled here. It's gonna prompt for a name. Don't mind the slightly choppy frame rates here. It's because of my capture card. But if all goes well, it's gonna mash through all the dialogue for a second here. And the very first battle should also have the higher quality backgrounds, and it does. These backgrounds are a little bit harder to tell that they changed, but if you do a lot of comparing and contrasting between the old and the new, you do see this looks better. That's all you need to do to get the Maguri graphics mod working. I hope you found this video to be useful. If you did, I would appreciate it if you like it and subscribe to my channel to keep up with my latest video happenings. I also invite you to check out my channel's other guides if you haven't done so already. Lots of interesting guides and many more to come. Anyhow, until next time, take it easy.